Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So today I have an image that was sent to me from a viewer who also has his own channel. And his name is Weird Dirty Gaming. So he sent me this image to check out. It is a recall box image for the Raspberry Pi. I have messed with recall box in the past, but I don't, it's not really my preference. I prefer to use RetroPie myself. Um, you know, this is an emulation station build within, you know, recall box. But like I said, I don't really mess with, with recall box, so I don't know all the ins and outs. Fairly similar stuff. Uh, some of the button designations are different. <clears throat> but for those of you who like recall box and want something to, like a base image to work off of, this little fellow right here is pretty nifty. It is 32 gigabytes. You know, just to, to put out that note again, this is not my image. I have not manipulated anything. I have not added, haven't done anything other than put it on my card, booted it up. Once you do boot it up um, on the base image, there will be an option menu that's no longer on here. When you go to the option menu, because when you're scrolling through here, it, it's a fresh image. There's nothing on there. You have to go to reset. And it'll reset everything and all your games will pop up so that's just the one thing you'll have to do if you grab this image when you boot it up it'll look just like this but it won't list any games yet you have to go to reset and then it just it, it reboots it and all the games pop up that was something i was kind of unsure of but that's that's the way she worked with the the base image there so weird dirty gaming provided this to me to check it out i've i've taken a peek at it might be something i i screw around with in the future but like I said, it is a nice little image to, to start from if you want to manipulate it or build it up your own if you want to do something with Recall Box. So just to go through this bad boy real quick, let me see, where should we start? Where should we start? We'll start at Nintendo. So NES, we have 787 games. Nintendo 64, 315. Game Boy Advance, 1,117. So with Game Boy Advance, whenever you see over 1,000, there's always going to be those duplicates. <clears throat> they're not necessarily duplicates. They're different files, but you'll get those games that have like 2-in-1, 3-in-1, 4-in-1. You know, Strawberry Shortcake and SpongeBob and Dora the Explorer all on one game pack. So those, I kind of try to get rid of those when I put Game Boy Advance, you know, on an image now. But a lot of people throw them on there. Some people like that, some people don't. I think it's a waste of space, to be honest, because the games are already on there. They're just like double and quadruple pack type things, so enough rambling about that. But you got that, 1,117. Game Boy Color, 548. The original Game Boy, where it's at, 574. Our Sega Genesis, 832 games. Sega Master System, 281. Our bad little Game Gear, 275. PC Engine, also known as Turbo Graphics in the US. We have 96 games, fairly standard. Libretro, Final Burn Alpha, 1,505 games. Atari 2600, 644. Now for the last Super Nintendo, 787. So with this image and with recall box, I just, I can't get used to using the B button as select and the A button to back out. You can always change that if you so choose, <clears throat> but that's just, you know, the basic, that's the way it works. The B button selects, whereas those of us using RetroPie, we're used to the A button selecting. But jump into, you know, just these systems to take a look. There's nothing scraped, which you could do yourself. It'll take a little time. Um, you can definitely scrape everything. Let me see. Yeah, you just hit enter or start, go into scraper, press B. Same thing, you know, that, that we're used to with, you know, the RetroPie emulation station with recall box emulation station. It's pretty similar stuff. So if you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and scrape all the, uh, the information, but when you do that, especially with a, a set of games that's this vast, it's going to take a while. If you put it to, to, you know, the user has to decide on conflicts, you're going to be there for a day, if not longer. 
if you just let it flow through its thing, you're going to have a lot of stuff to fix in the long run because it will scrape games incorrectly, and then you'll have to go through and catch that later. So just pointing this all out, nothing is scraped, just a clean, clean little base image. Got all these Nintendo 64. I've tested a handful of them out. You know, a lot of the ones that, that I wasn't sure if they would work, work decently. But as we know, Nintendo 64 doesn't have the best compatibility due to the emulators that we are using. Game Boy Advance, same thing. Like I said, real nifty background, stylized the way it looks. If you wanted to take a step further, you would, you would definitely scrape everything. But like I said, not, <clears throat> not a whole lot to say about this image. Fairly, fairly standard, just nice little base image. I mean, what more could you want? If, if you want something small, just the games, nothing crazy, a little basic layout in recall box, this right here is going to do it for you. Nothing, nothing crazy going on here. All our basic systems and then a bunch of arcade stuff. Pretty solid set of arcade stuff, I would say, just scrolling through these games. You get pretty much all the stuff you're looking for. You get both versions of The Simpsons, the four-player and the two-player. A lot of times with those, like the Ninja Turtles and the Simpsons games, um, you kind of, if you're never planning to do four players, you kind of want to make sure you have the two-player version on there. Because if you have the four-player version of The Simpsons, Ninja Turtles, Sunset Riders, so on and so forth, those games force you to use the character that's designated as player one and player two. Whereas if you use the two-player version, it will let you select your character. Now, sometimes, you know, I've seen with some of these games, I haven't really messed with it because I, I don't bother too much with those. I'll play them, but I usually just have the two-player set, set up. Some of them, if you go into the system, like the diagnostics and whatnot, will let you change the ROM to the two-player or the four-player version. It just, I guess, depends on the ROM. I don't know if all those ROMs support that, but I've noticed some of them do where you can change it back and forth. So sometimes it might not even be required to have both versions, but if you just want to differentiate, just, okay, I'm going to do four players, so I'll just select that. Two players, so I'll select that. Because those games, they don't take up much space anyway. But just wanted to point that out. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. But definitely a solid, solid list of arcade games. Let me take a gander, see if there's anything on here that I know doesn't play. So far, so good. I'm not seeing, uh, I'm not seeing any of those crazy games that shouldn't belong on here. So this might be a, a nice, uh, you know, sh cut down arcade list of games that only work. I haven't tested all these, but just scrolling through them, I'm seeing looks like mostly games. So far, 100% that I know will work. I'm not seeing any of those weird off the wall, like Street Fighter EX or anything like that, that won't run. Yeah, it's looking like a, you know, if, if at least that, you're getting a really solid, solid set of arcade games here. Looks, yeah, looks like everything's a, a runner here for the most part. Some of the stuff you might be getting, uh, you might be getting some BIOS files in here. I'm not 100%, haven't gone through the whole thing. But um, yeah, this, this looks pretty nifty. Looks like a good, a good ROM set for arcade, especially for those of you who just want to have something that you're not going to question if everything runs. This seems like most of the stuff is going to run and run fairly well. Yeah, just even still, just kind of, kind of blasting through it. I'm not seeing anything crazy. So, yeah, that's 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 a definite plus with the arcade stuff. I don't I don't see anything wrong with that. So you got a thousand five hundred and five. I would assume a handful of those might be BIOS files. Um, not a hundred percent, but it's possible. But that's cool. Nice little FBA set you got there. Thousand five hundred. I mean, how could you even play all those games? Um, but yeah, that's looking solid to me, looking solid. If you guys want this image, I'll put the link. Like I said, I haven't done anything to it. I haven't changed anything from what I received. I'm going to seed this, this image for about a week, and then I'm going to drop it. So I got to have room to make sure I'm seeding everything else that I have out. But I will you know, put a solid effort <clears throat> to, 
to seed this image for, for at least a week. It's only 32 gigabytes. Should fit on most 32 gigabyte cards. It is not pre-shrunk. Um, let me take a look right quick to see what she looks like as far as our bite count. Let me get that for you guys real quick. So our bite count, we're looking at 31, 104, 958, 464 at 28.9 gigabytes. I put this on a, what did I put it on? Let me check right quick. It's a PNY Elite, not the Elite X, just the Elite. So it fit on that, and I've burned it a couple times in a couple different PNY cards, and they fit. So I'll put a link to the cards that I've burned it to if you guys were so interested. Um, with that said, smash that damn like button. I don't know why. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you have any questions, hit me up. Like I said, this is not my image. It's weird, dirty gaming's image. Pretty solid effort here for a nice little base. Um, I have some stuff coming out pretty soon. Keep an eye out for that. We got the, uh, the PlayStation mod. Next video will be down tomorrow. It'll be up tomorrow, so check that out. Have some images coming up this week as well. So I'll catch you guys next time. Boom!